It's actually great kind of just to be here and be able to uh, come in and just share. I mean, it's, it's, it's amazing to see what a product can do. I mean, myself personally, it's, you know, you know nutrition all your life. You, you played a sport, you know, grade school in the backyard, running around playing football, and, you know, and, and you're always enjoying it. And then as you get older, and for since eight years old, and you know, I played till I was 38 years old in the National Football League, so you got really high school, college, over 30 years of football, contact sport. And all every off season, you're training, you're lifting weights, you're eating healthy, you're just trying to be, and this is, this is your life. It became a party, and then after you, you, you get done, you're like, wow, I want to exhale. And just kind of relax, and you know, like the body just, and, and a lot of guys, you know, we, we do that. And I was, you know, I was playing, you know, between 235 and 245. You know, the off season, every now and then, 260, and you know, lose it, and then, you know, I got done. It was like for that year, it's like, okay, I'm done. And it was getting up to 250, 260, 270, 275, 280. Like, okay, there's the off season is forever if you want it to be. And if that's the time when you're like, well, I got to do something. And it's time when you say, well, I got to make sure. And you, you see so many guys at the age of 55, most NFL players who die, offensive linemen. Over 50% of the guys because they're overweight, and because of all their lives they've been working out, and then when they get done, they continue to eat the same way. They don't change their lifestyle, and it, and it takes it takes their life. I have a lot of guys that, that are no longer here, young age, and we're no we're no difference. When you're young, your body will be forgiven. It'll let you get away with certain things. You get older. I mean, I, you know, come from a family high blood pressure, all those different things, right? And so that's why I started challenging myself, and I said, wow, you know. Um, so I started the challenge and just started, you know, eating better. Not just that. It's no magic wand. I mean, this the, the, myself, it's a great, it's a great way for you to say, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna supplement my meals. I'm gonna still eat every now and then, enjoy myself. It's not the old magic wand you say, I'm just gonna eat like this forever. Let's be realistic about it. You have to say, this is what I want to do for my health. And oh, by the way, if I do this, if I get tuned into my body and start taking this shake every day, twice a day, and have one sensible meal. You, it becomes a, it becomes a part of your life. It becomes a part of your culture. Just like eating bad becomes a part of your culture, and it's hard after you stop. And wow, I want that because your body starts to crave. If you can change your habit, you know, 90 days, 30 days, one day, and have support group and do the things and, and constantly, you'll continue to change your environment. You'll continue to change your eating habit. You'll continue to change who you are as this person. And so I think if you challenge yourself to do this, it'll give you a better lifestyle. And by the way, if you do that, and then you get three other people. Then your product's free, and you start growing. But once, first thing before people, you know, so want to, they want to start. Hey, God, I want to go this. Start taking this because why? They look at the end results. You know, some I know a lot of people. You know, Jennifer, we're making twenty thousand dollars a month. You see, so many people. You see the, the finest part. But the worst thing you can do is go into the business saying, "Okay, I'm getting ready to make millions of dollars, make hundred thousand dollars, twenty thousand a month." Because then you're setting yourself up for failure. First, you need to get in tune with your body. First, you need to get in tune with the product. And once you know the product, and know, once you know what it can do for you, then it becomes a part of you. Now it becomes a part of your culture, who you are as a person. And now what happens? Now it's easy to go out and sell the product because now you're living it. It's not work anymore. But if you go the opposite way and say, God, I want to go make this money, you're going to burn out because of the fact you're not believing in the product that you're trying to push. Yeah. You have to be able to be connected to who you are and what you are as a person if you want to be done the right way. That's integrity. That's being honest. That's being transparent. If you can do those things, this product will work. And you will have a lot of success. I'm just glad you guys are here. Thank you so much for the time. <laughs>